Hello and welcome to Vlogmas Day 15? Yes, it's the 15th. 10 days! 10 days! Oh my gosh, it's 11? Yeah, just about 11. And I have to leave in about 45 minutes. I've just been slowly getting ready. I've had a slower start this morning than I have the last couple mornings, but that's okay. I think I'm going to end up doing some work on the dissertation later this afternoon when I get home. I have to go um, down to campus for a meeting and then I might do some shopping down there. I haven't decided, but then I also need, I really need to get an oil change So for my car. So I kind of wanted to just do that today and just get it done and checked off my list. I was supposed to do it before I went to London. Oops. And then I got sick and yeah, so it still hasn't gotten done. I'm just switching over my handbags. I've been using the red glitter one a lot. And this is definitely the time of year to use that bag. So I do use it, but I also get really nervous about the glitter and I don't want, I don't like using it too much because I just worry that I'm going to shorten the life of the bag. So I use it judiciously, I think that's the right word, throughout December and then again in February because it's great for Valentine's Day. It was actually my Valentine's Day gift to myself four years ago, five years ago. Might have been five or six actually. So I think it was before I started my PhD. Love it. Um, but I'm going to switch back to my Ted Baker, my other Ted Baker bag because this is Ted Baker too. Switch back to my larger one that I love in the winter and I get compliments on both of these bags every time I carry them out. I get compliments on the larger floral one. Everyone seems to love it. The red glitter one people actually, I hope they're joking, jokingly, threaten to steal it. Like, oh, well, if that bag goes missing, which I can't say I blame them because I would want to steal it too, which is why I'm glad that it's a crossbody bag so I can keep it close. So I didn't really talk to you guys at the end of yesterday's vlog. It wasn't super late by the time I got home, but it was past eight o'clock. We chatted for over a couple hours, so it was really nice to go and hang out with my friend Karen and catch up because we hadn't seen each other since before London so we were definitely due for a catch up so that was really nice but then by the time I got home like I said it wasn't super super late but I was feeling tired and I knew that it was going to take me at least a little bit of time to edit but yeah I was I was feeling pretty tired yeah I'm just kind of hanging out I didn't get to wash my hair, so I'm wearing a hat today. It's my winter trick. You know, when the, the ends are still looking okay, it's just the roots that need to be cleaned or covered up, so in the winter I can wear a hat. I am probably being a little bit optimistic. It is still supposed to be 72 today. I ended up staying up a little bit later last night than I should have. I stayed up until almost 11 because I was, I was reading. <laughs> I downloaded two new books, so someone needs to stop me because I keep ordering books. They're all related to my dissertation, so they were cheaper on Kindle. I did kind of want to order them hard copy, but both of them were like between $31 and $36 hard copy, or one was $10 and the other was $14 on Kindle, so I could get both of them on Kindle for cheaper than the cost of one of them, so I just got the Kindle version, which I actually think works out better because the way the newer Kindle books are, when there's an image, if you tap on the image, it opens it up so that you can zoom in. And the resolution is pretty good, so you can really zoom in and see finer details up close, which on a hard copy book you wouldn't be able to do that. So I think I made the right choice. But both of them are on dress as object and fashion research from an object-based perspective or approach. So one of them I think is going to end up being a bit basic and not something I would use in the dissertation, but I think will still be a good refresher for me 
and the language that I probably need to be using. But then the other one, I think I'm only, that was the one that I stayed up a little bit too late reading. I, I think that one's going to be pretty good. So, but yeah. So in the last few days, I've ordered four books related to my dissertation and my research in general. I'm supposed to be writing, not reading, but oh well. So I will tell you more about those books as I finish them and have more concrete thoughts about them because I think they would be of interest to some of the rest of you. I guess to advent calendars. So we are up to 15. Ooh, and it's almost falling out. Um, oh, it's a lip balm, yes. It's a mini of their lip balm and I have tried this before and I love it so I'm a super happy to have a really mini size that will fit into my smaller handbags. That is exciting! You know you're a lip balm nerd when you get really excited to get a lip balm in your advent calendar. Day 15 over here is another large square. I've tried these before and they're really nice. This is the, I haven't tried the Lotus one, but the sleeping masks are really, really nice. That's pretty good because these are like $5 a pop in the store. So they're like a gel and you could probably get at least two uses out of these if you like put it in an airtight container to keep it from drying out. But you just put these on your face at night before you go to sleep and it kind of does its work while you sleep and then you just wash it off when you wash your face in the morning. Opening up the Christmas or the chocolate one. And we've got a little train. Okay, so about 30 minutes before I have to leave. So I am gonna sit down in my comfy armchair and just do a kind of blast session just to see how much I can do in 25 minutes before I have to leave. Oh, and I'm wearing, um, really like how it turned out too. I'm wearing the fingertip liner again. I think I was a little bit rushed. It didn't turn out quite how I, quite as cleanly, but I think it's okay. Um, and I'm wearing the Too Faced Boss Lady Agenda palette and a Smashbox lipstick that I got in a little free sample bag. Yeah, that's my face of the day or my makeup of the day, or at least the new stuff. Brows are Fleur de Force, and I'm just wearing my tinted moisturizer, hourglass blush, <laughs> and the highlighter from the Too Faced palette. So, okay, get to work, Andrea. <laughs>
Hello, I'm home. I've got my Target stuff here. I thought I'd show you what I picked up. I also got my oil change, so my car is happy now. Some of the stuff is boring, so I won't show you the boring stuff. But I did get a few fun things. So in the dollar section, or the dollar spot, they had some fun holiday washi tapes. So I got this one. It says believe on it. It's got little snowflakes. I thought that was super cute. And then red, red foil. So kind of shiny. Thought that was cute. And then this one that's like a red plaid. Thought that was cute. And this one that says merry and bright and then it has a little bicycle with a Christmas tree in it. I thought that was really cute. So so I thought these would be good for bullet journal, but also for wrapping. And then I got another one of the sticker books. They had a new one that was this pretty rose gold, pink, teal, mint. So lots of fun colors. And then I got a couple t-shirts. They had the A New Day basic tees, long sleeve tees, which A New Day, these are basically what took over for the Morona classic fit tees which were my favorites. So I got one in this kind of purple heather and one in the blush that I'm wearing right now. I wanted to get two of these because it is so comfortable and I love this color. So now I've got two of them. They were on sale two for 14. I think they're regularly, it doesn't say on here, I think they're regularly $10. So I got $3 off each of them, which was good. So, so been to Target, got my oil changed, had my appointment down on campus. Everything has gone pretty smoothly. I'm tired and I've had a tension headache at the base of my skull all afternoon. It hasn't gotten worse, but it hasn't gotten better despite taking some Excedrin. So that's a bit frustrating. Um, so I wanted to try to do a bit more writing I got about 600 words done before I left, so I was hoping to do at least another 400 to get up to 1,000 for the day. But it's almost 4.30, and I'm just feeling kind of done for the day. <laughs> it's Friday. So I don't know, I might still do some more work on it later today, or I might work on it tomorrow, even though I don't usually work on Saturdays. I was impressed I got as much done in only 25 minutes, so I think I need to start doing that a bit more, just those kind of speed writing sessions, just sit down for 30 minutes and whatever I get done, I get done. So I might do that tomorrow. I might start incorporating that, especially on the weekends, because then it's not taking up a ton of time, but you know, if I just do 30 minutes on Saturday and 30 minutes on Sunday, it's not a lot of time, but I could still potentially get a fair amount of work done. I just want to sit down, rest my back, rest my head, <laughs> and rest in general. Just kind of chill. Yeah, I will check with you guys in a little bit.